Two of the, the people that really helped usher in this idea that relapse is a process rather than an event are Terry Gorski and Alan Marlett. Uh, both of them did some really groundbreaking work starting in the, the 1980s around that, this, around working with hundreds and hundreds of alcoholics and addicts. Um, and they say, just like I mentioned, that the fact that relapse a process is actually a really good thing uh, because it gives uh, the recovering individual, the helping professional, the family member, some place to do something before we actually end up at alcohol or drug use, right? And both of them say that the relapse process really uh, ends uh, with the, the alcohol or drug use, at which point we kind of enter a using episode, right? And everything that comes before it is all a part of the relapse process. So I want to take a look at both of their models so we can kind of get a sense of, of what that means exactly. Because I remember when I first heard that relapse was a process, I was like, okay, and what does that mean, right? So we're going to start off with Terry Gorski's uh, model. His is called the early warning sign approach. And before I, I, I kind of go into that, I just want to kind of point out that both of them kind of have relapse as the sixth and final stage in the process, right? So Terry Gorski's model um, is probably going to feel a bit more intuitive to members of the audience that are familiar with 12-step recovery because his model um, is kind of in line with both the philosophy and <coughs> principles of Alcoholics Anonymous. So for Terry Gorski, he says the relapse process really gets started with stress, right? Um, and he says it's really interesting. So when the stress starts occurring, a lot of times it's outside of our awareness, right? We're not even aware that it's kind of going on. And so that's kind of this denial piece, right? And because we have the stress and we're not able to kind of uh, address it, we end up with internal dysfunction. And internal dysfunction is just kind of a fancy way of saying that we, we're having a hard time regulating what's kind of going on inside of us, right? We're hard time regulating maybe some emotions. Um, AA has a kind of a term for this, it's called being restless, irritable, or discontent, right? Um, and he says, as a result, when, when we're not able to kind of address what's kind of going on uh, inside of us in a, in a skillful way, it starts affecting things outside of us, right? And that's what external dysfunction is. That's this idea that it starts spilling over into other areas of our lives, right? It starts spilling over into our relationships, it starts spilling over into our work, and maybe it starts spilling over into um, our school as well. And as a result of the stress, denial, internal dysfunction, external dysfunction, we end up down here at option reduction, which is just basically saying that for the recovering person, because they've maybe kind of these relationships they've had, they've either kind of either stepped away from them or maybe damaged them, that they don't have a lot of room to reach out and ask for help at this point, right? They've made their recovery program so small that really the only kind of salient response for kind of dealing with all of this is to return to alcohol or drug use, right? Alan Marlett's model is a little bit different, right? So he's more of a social learning uh, psychologist and more of a cognitive behavioral therapist, but kind of key to understanding his model is this idea of high-risk situations. So for Alan Marlett, high-risk situations can be either external or internal, meaning they can be people or places, or they can kind of be emotional states, right? So, and when we're kind of working within his model, what you're trying to do is to identify what are all my high-risk situations, either internal or external, at the same time identifying what are effective coping skills for dealing with all of these high-risk situations, and at the same time developing this belief that, hey, if I use these coping skills in these high-risk situations, then I should be okay. And when that kind of falls apart, we kind of slide down this uh, slope all the way down here to relapse.